This is Around the County. Hello and welcome to Around the County at First Choice Workspace in Wantage, New Jersey. Today we're here with Holly Ryder from Newton, New Jersey, who is an artist and have brought some beautiful work to the gallery here at the workspace. So, Holly, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, and uh, so Holly, tell us a little bit about yourself and what made you get into this beautiful um, art work that you do. Oh, oh my gosh, um, where to begin? Um, I pretty much started art at the moment that I could pick up a pencil, so I'm like four years old. Um, I just, the inspiration just kind of, just kind of came. Um, I got, oh my gosh, so like my, at my grandparents' house, because that, that's where I grew up, I grew up in Vernon. Mm -hmm. um, the inspiration just kind of started when I could pick up a crayon. And so it kind of looks like starry night under the kitchen table. I just, I just drew like on the table. Um, yeah, but that's kind of like where it started. And then um, as I like got older, I thought I wanted to be an art teacher. Um, and then that just kind of fizzled away. And then I wanted to be um, an illustrator when it came to college. Um, I dabbled with digital art. Um, for a while, I tried traditional art, like with oil, and and like I was kind of pressured to do all sorts of different still lifes, and I just thought like realism isn't my thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then it just came to the series that I came today. It's called In Bloom. Um, it's with uh, oranges. There's one with pumpkins. Um, that one is called Fall in Bloom. There's one with strawberries and blueberries, it's called Berries in Bloom, and the rest just kind of follows that theme of In Bloom because that's when I discovered my, um, my sort of, that's where I found myself, it's where I found my style, because realism just isn't, I, I just like spending hours on a painting just isn't, just isn't my thing. Um, I like to spend um, like a little bit of time, but with extra care, um, just so that way, because if you spend too much time on a piece, then things just get lost and too detailed, you overthink about it. Um, so there's just, yeah, like, uh, an artwork's never, never finished, there's no, there's no perfection to it, it's just, you decide when it's done before it gets too overworked and too lost. So I found myself just sticking to, like, blocks of color, bright color, complementary colors, it's just, I think it just represents me and, um, and it just represents my whole soul. And yeah, that's I love that. <laughs> I love that you said that because really, when you first walked in here, I saw that. I was like, you're really very nice. You have a beautiful glow around you. And then I saw your art, and it was so nice and bright, and I really loved it. And then I read about you, and even better. You know, I really do. Um, I love the fact that uh, it says in there you went to Caldwell University, yes. right? Yeah. Um, for art and that that you felt tortured by having to do stuff that really didn't come from you oh gosh, but yeah. i can see in this artwork that this is you i mean the colors are super bright i love it i really do yeah just it was just like the uh it was, i just felt held back when yeah. i was in college because i had to do still lives in a certain style that would appease my professors and and it's like i just felt like that helped me back so it took me years to discover my voice and um, my style and like what what art is and what it means to me and my and my heart that is wonderful oh that's so nice <laughs> so um it also i read on your um uh, website that you uh, love photography too yes. um, and that you sometimes will take a picture of flowers right um, and then go home and do this art right yeah yeah whatever sparks my interest like it will like it won't be like the like what exactly what i see in that photo but um if like there's flowers directly in the middle then i can like just kind of replicate those shapes in my own vision like wherever i want on the canvas that's great that's great so um <clears throat> So somebody, let's say, if I have something that I love and I have this great picture, but I want to make it into art, right? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, is that something somebody can do? Come like on your website and give you something, and you can work on that. Yeah, yeah. Any um, if anyone has like any sort of fruit, like favorite fruit or favorite like plant or flower combination, uh -huh. I can I can make that for them. I'd be more than happy to. Wonderful. And um, is this another your graphic designer consultant too? Oh yeah, that was um, that was my previous. Um, uh -huh. Position that was for a nonprofit organization, uh -huh. um, but now I am starting a summer internship with a, a publication design company called N2. Uh -huh. um, I'm very excited. I'm going to be doing um, magazine layout design for them and Wonderful. learning about that, and Great. hoping I grow into that company from there afterwards. Great. And is that some other like would you do freelance job for somebody on the graphic design no, area or no? No. It's, no. All right. Yeah. So just the art, really. Yeah. That's great. That's good. So, um, where can people go to find you? Oh, you can find me on um, you can find me on Instagram at right. Lemon Marie Illustrations. Um, that's the same thing for uh, for Facebook. For uh, my website is www.lemonmarieillustrations.com. And yeah, that's so great. You can find me. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Is there anything else you want to tell the audience out there about um, you? Oh my gosh, no, nothing that I can think of. Just thank you so much for having me. Thank you for this opportunity, for having my work in, in your space. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you for letting us display something so valuable to you. Um, and thank you all for watching. Uh, we're going to have a... Um, open house here at First Choice uh, Workspace on June 1st. Uh, so feel free to come and look at the uh, artwork. Uh, it's going to be 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So please come and join us. <laughs>